Last season, the NFL found out exactly what Adrian Peterson is capable of. Now it's up to the Vikings to make the needed adjustments. On a freezing winter day, you know, kind of like today in Denver, doesn't green grass, bright sunshine, and outdoor baseball sound perfect? Mello had no problem handing the Knicks yet another loss on the season and promises the thought never even crossed his mind that he could be playing alongside Stoudemire anytime soon. Call him greedy, but Highlands Ranch might not be satisfied with another girls state championship. Not to compare, but it did take Denver's beloved number seven, John Elway, 42 tries. And their quarterback, Alex Buckman, is leading the 2A ranks with over 1,600 yards on the season, plus 18 TDs. Hey, remember Josh McDaniels, the guy who had the courage and foresight to draft Tim Tebow? He's got a new job tonight, just six weeks after getting whacked in Denver. But don't blame the losing football team yet. Some students say the high ticket prices are what keep them away. You know, it seemed like one week you guys were up, and then the next week there was something else the media was trying to get you for. Can you describe that experience for me? I mean, just walk me through what that was like for you. Were there some days you wanted to be done? And it sounds like Tiger Woods is in the tabloids a lot. Can you tell us about what that's? Oh, man, that's he just keeps digging himself further in the hole. I tell you, even though Tiger Woods continues to avoid facing the public, he did announce today on his personal website that he plans to take an indefinite break from golf. The world's number one golfer gave no indication as to when he plans to return to the sport. Woods said Friday this leave is for him to concentrate on saving his marriage and prepare the damages caused to his family after a Thanksgiving Day car crash and weeks of allegations involving extramarital affairs. The Denver Broncos are back on track after two straight wins, but they're still heavy underdogs as they prepare to take on the perfect 12-0 Colts Sunday in Indy. The Broncos' defense will have their work cut out for them as they try to stop Peyton Manning from leading his team to a spot in the record books with 22 consecutive wins in the regular season. If the Colts can continue perfection and improve to 13-0, they'll lock up home field advantage throughout the AFC playoffs. Obviously all we can control is, is trying to beat Denver. Well, things just keep getting worse for the defending Super Bowl champs. Big Ben was sacked eight times in an embarrassing loss to the Cleveland Browns Thursday. The Browns get just their second win of the season as they beat the Steelers 13-6. Well, unlike the Steelers, the Heritage Eagles have a lot to celebrate after winning the 4A Colorado State Championships last Saturday. Today, Heritage High School held a rally to commemorate the Eagles' memorable win. The championship plaque was unveiled in the school gym that marks the 42-28 defeat over Longmont. A lot of things going on in sports. I hope those Nuggets win the game tonight. Yep, they play the Phoenix Sun, so see fun. what they can show. Yeah. <laughs> Six Colorado State titles in ten seasons. Uh, ultimately, in the end, the state championship is what we want. <laughs> the Ranch Girls basketball program has been dominant over the past decade, but hasn't been able to win it all since 08. The past two years, we've kind of been knocked off unexpectedly early, and especially as my senior year, I've seen all the other previous state winners, and I think it's really our time to get this one. A championship seems to be a reasonable goal, considering the 5A Falcons are ranked number one in our 11-3 on the season. We haven't lost in, in Colorado, so I think that we definitely have a shot at it. Call him greedy, but Highlands Ranch might not be satisfied with another girls' state championship. They're hoping for one on the boys' side, too. It's kind of the thing where we want to get something on the wall instead of seeing how Highlands Ranch is a girls' basketball school. We want it to be known for uh, boys' basketball as well. That something on the wall refers to a state title banner and should be up there at season's end given they're also ranked number one with a 15-1 and one record and beating opponents by more than 28 points per game. I mean, it's finally our turn. We've never had a guys run like this, but hopefully we can step up to the plate and get it done this year. They deserve their chance in the spotlight because they've never been there and we're there every single year. Although the two teams are happy to share the fans' attention, the girls admit a small rivalry does exist. I definitely say there's got to be a little bit, you know, trying to get fans to come to our games and not to theirs, you know, because, you know, everyone loves to watch boys basketball, so we're trying to keep the hype. Regis Jesuit did pull off dual state titles in 09, but the girls and their counterparts know how rare that actually is. It's tough to win one, let alone have your guys and girls win in the same year. I think all the stars have to align or something. I really hope so. I mean, that, that would ultimately be the coolest thing ever, um, just to have both the boys and the girls. A cool dream kept alive by two hot teams. Leslie Fox, 9 News.